Hello folks and welcome back to Shogun Total War. I am Kana Step and this is going to be part 4 of my Sengoku Jedi campaign where I'm playing as Clan Imbagawa. And before I get started, I do want to talk a little bit about something going forward in this campaign, which is that because it is going to be such a slow campaign and because there's going to be a lot of turns that are just going to be... Essentially, it's going to be like just burning a lot of turns a lot just because... This is going to be a campaign that focuses on using my agents more so than my armies to get a lot done, at least in the in the beginning and uh, mid campaign. I think at the end, I will get some armies going to kind of show off some late game units. I do want to show off the battlefield ninjas with my Imagawa armies. I think they are fitting for the ninja theme that I'm kind of going with. So yeah, I will have some late game units that will be showing off later on, but for now... It's going to be a lot of quick turns, and I'm not sure, you know, how how much I can keep kind of saying the same thing, so I might just kind of edit out a lot of this, and this is going to be something new for me. I mean, I already do edit out um, a lot of just the, the tediousness of uh, replenishing armies and moving armies around and moving agents, and I have been in this campaign cutting out some of the... Some of the uh, uh, the agent scenes themselves like the ninjas and stuff like that so just to kind of save some time just so you don't have to watch the same video over and over again which i'm sure you understand i'm sure you get it but overall this is going to be kind of new for me because i don't really know how long i have to record to kind of get the time that i'm used to having i'm used to having videos around an hour long and for this um i don't know you know i might end up at a half hour I might end up at 20 minutes um, the only real precedent that I have for this, as far as other YouTubers goes, is that there is a channel that goes by SimC Total War that he, he kind of does a similar thing where he will play for a few hours and then get a video down to half an hour. Maybe, I think I've even watched videos of his that are 15 minutes long. And you don't get a lot of the empire building and the empire management with his videos. I think you're getting basically troop movements and a lot of battle footage, which, you know, can be fun for sure, but... Obviously, with a campaign that's going to focus on agents like this one, it's going to be um, that that would just be a waste. You'd literally see nothing for like the first half of the campaign. So, I do have to talk about you know what I am doing with my agents, obviously. And yeah, I'm just going to have to figure this out and see see how it goes. And obviously, if you have any opinions on this or any advice, then please let me know in the comment section down below. I'd like to hear what you have to say about it. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to have to kind of figure this out as I go along. So please bear with me. It's something that I do want to do though that is the thing i do think that this um style of campaign is a worthwhile and fun one at least to play and just kind of show it off a little bit um just to show off that there is you know more ways to play a total war game than just to wage total war of course so yeah i think that there is a, a certain value uh to doing this and, and to showing it but i just kind of i have to figure out how to really showcase it on YouTube, of course, um, to kind of make it a little bit more watchable. And uh, yeah, just, you know, if you have any opinions, opinions let me know. And uh, as always, I do appreciate the support um, for those of you that are watching. So yeah, I'm going to, yeah, just kind of bear with me because I feel like there is something, um, even with like future Total War titles, you know, with Medieval, I might want to play an agent-heavy campaign with a certain faction. Or with Rome, I might want to do that with a cer certain faction. So I just don't know. I just, uh, yeah, I want to experiment and see how it goes. But yeah, I don't want to keep showing you me transporting <laughs> these armies of Shinobi every turn because there's going to be a lot of that. And of course, uh, later on, there will be a lot of um, ninja videos as well. Just a lot of them failing. <laughs> it takes it takes a lot of ninja to kill a daimyo. A lot of failed failed videos. So. So yeah, I'm going to have to figure that out as I go along. But as I get into... Uh, now we can actually talk about this episode itself. Now, things are going okay, I'd say. I mean, it's nerve-wracking considering that I do have Shinano, but I'm surrounded by some rather large armies here, some rather powerful armies. Takeda isn't too threatening. Um, they have cavalry archers and they have Yari Cav. The thing, though, is that it's the armies that have just the mass amount of archers that are a little bit scary just because I don't have any cav yet. So I don't have any Yari cav that can, you know, chase down these archers. And frankly, I don't have any Yari cav that can, you know, take out these cavalry archers either. But 
at least my infantry archers will take out their cavalry archers. Um, cavalry archers, being that they're on a horse, are just bigger targets, so they lose to a skirmish engagement to foot archers. That's how that works. And more so looking at uh, Imagao, I mean, Yuasugi, and just seeing how, <laughs> of course, you know, because they have that discount to archers, they just have these entire armies full of archers, and it can be quite terrifying. And... In addition to that, they you know they got some cav archers over here somewhere. Got cav archers here, and they got some warrior monks as well. So it's getting a little bit scary. I did break my alliance with them in the last turn just so I could ally with Odo clan, and I don't um, hmm, I don't know if I completely agree with that action. I I get where I was going with it. I kind of see this war, this oncoming war with Yusugi as maybe inevitable, and. I can see that since Oda is at war with Yusugi, maybe that it's best to ally with Oda. Just to kind of help them out, that means that they should be getting the 250 Koku per year for, just from our alliance. And uh, yeah, maybe just kind of help them out in that regard. In addition to that, I've decided that it's time for me to start sending some Shinobi armies to Yusugi. Just to kind of mess them up a little bit, just because... They're pretty. They're getting pretty developed. Um, the fact that they have warrior monks right now is kind of scaring me. The fact that they're not at war with anyone except for Oda is kind of scaring me. I I kind of wish that they would be attacking uh, Hojo by now, and I kind of wish that you know Hojo would have something to worry about besides just me or Takeda. So yeah, the fact that like no one's really fighting here except for Oda and Yusugi right here is kind of it's kind of scaring me. You know, I don't want. Takeda come after me here in Saruga. I don't want Hojo, to, you know, Yusugi to pile in on Shinano. I could win a battle or two, but um, if, if they really start pile, piling in on me, I, you know, could end up losing that. So I'm going to get need to get some, uh, you know, secret agent Shinobi action going on back here just to kind of give these guys some problems uh, so they can take their mind off of Shinano, which they're all looking at. You can just kind of tell they're all looking at it. And, and, and this worries me, actually. Having my ally has an emissary here in Shinano, which we're, we're already allies, so there's nothing he can do, you know, talking to my daimyo. So he's just spying on me. <laughs> And I'd rather him, you know, spy on someone else because he has his work cut out for him. And as far as the South goes, I think that Shimazu is being kept busy. Now, so far, my rebel spawned armies that uh, my, my little shinobi army is creating, they're not really getting a lot done right now, which is unfortunate because this is a, this is a decent, you know, little stack of, uh, of shinobi right here. But I'm not going to focus on that any more of that right now because I think I need Shinobi, like I said, here against Yusugi. And in addition to that, I think I need some Shinobi uh, messing up Mori as well just because I feel like if they're left unchecked, they can really get pretty strong and start pushing through central Japan. And at that point, they're knocking on my southern border here, you know, because they can push right on through Oda and the rebels and all that. So... I kind of, uh, it, oh, in addition to that, um, Takeda still has a little bit of a presence. Oh, maybe not. Actually, yeah, I think if I'm correct, it's hard to kind of tell sometimes looking at the throne room map, but I think Takeda still has Awami. And if I can kind of mess up the Mori here and kind of help out Takeda, still have a presence here, then that would really slow them down even more, more so. So. Yeah, that's the idea. Um, I think to make that happen, what I'm going to have to do is uh, build up another tea house so I can train more shinobi per turn. Because right now, having all my shinobi come from one place is not enough. It's not cutting. It's not cutting it. So I need more. I think the safest place in my territories, um, Mikawa is a good bet because it is a river province and the Oda is pretty mild right now. But the fact that they are spying on me makes me think that maybe I shouldn't build anything in Mikawa because the idea is if I do have to retreat to my castle, they can still destroy the buildings in my province. So what I'm thinking is Shikugo might be the safest, safest place in my kingdom right now. So if I put in a tea house here, I can start training Shinobi pretty soon. And yeah, I don't, you know, it's a river province. Um, 
if the Shimazi do attack, I think they'd be attacking Shikuzen just because it's not a river province. And um, I just don't think they will attack. I, I think they're kind of, they have their hands full right now. So I don't think they're going to be starting a war with me. And if, in fact, I would like to, I do have a, still have an emissary or is my emissary dead? Okay, so I have an emissary. What is he doing? He's just spying right now. Where can he go? I kind of want... Okay, so I'm not really sure what I had in mind for him, but I would like... Oh, yeah, I think I was I was scouting... Um, Yeah, that's right. I was scouting for my shinobi, but that's fine. Actually, I want to bring him... Where? Where's he from? Where did he come from? <laughs> I'm confused. Did he come from, like, over here? How can he... Okay, now I'm very confused. How can he move... There's no ports in Sado or Echu, so how are these? I'm very, uh, I'm very perplexed right now. <laughs> so interesting. Uh, huh. I don't get it. Oh, okay. Oh, duh. Okay, okay. I get it. That means that he was in Noto. Okay, yeah. I was. In, I'm being an idiot. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna bring him back to Mutsu because there's a port here, and they're gonna bring him, and I can start looking for Lord Shimazu, so I can just kind of get an alliance going with him. Um, just so I can get some more money going uh, from that alliance trade. Because currently I am allied with the Hojo and the Oda, but I would like more allies if I can get them, for sure. Takeda has said no, so that's going to be a no-go for now. And yeah, they really I feel like they really should say yes, just because they could use some help. Uh, they're not doing well, like I said, they're not doing well in the south. And here in the north, you know, these territories... They're okay. Sagami and Kai are good. Izu's not, but like, you know, they they are outmanned here um, in the north. So they they could use a friend, in my opinion. But uh, no, apparently they don't want any friends right now, and that's very Takeda of them. That's uh that's how they like to roll. So not too surprising there. But in any case, like I said, I am going to getting be getting that tea house down in uh, Shiku Shikugo, and in addition to that. Like I said before, I was looking at these armies of all archers, basically, and I think it's time for me to start working on getting some Yari Cav going. And since my Cav that are trained in Shinana will have a bonus to their honor, well, this is the place to build Cav then, or train Cav. So, Spear Dojo first. That's going to be a prerequisite to build a Horse Dojo. So, it's going to be get, get one of these going. And other than that, I'm going to be building my uh, last port as well. Last province, I can build a port here in Saruga. And yeah, that'll be good. And that's going to be a lot of my money. Um, although I can still... It's going to be a lot, but... Hmm, still have some money for Shinobi. So yeah, I definitely want to keep training Shinobi up. And... What do I have? Hmm, I wonder what else I want to train up. I think I have enough, like, Ashigaru... That's a lot of Ashigaru and only two archers here in Heisen. But the fact is, is that, it, what, I train up another archer in Totomi? Is that really what I need, though? Maybe just train up... Hmm. Maybe just train up another Yari Samurai for now. Yeah. Just to save a little bit of money. I could use some more archers in Kyushu, but... Yeah, I think I'll just have to wait for now, and I'll just see where I'm at after... Um, after spending the money that I just spent. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. That's, uh, that's actually a lot of talking for, for for the first turn. But yeah, that's fine. I did get an heir in the last episode. So he's just 18 years old now. Three stars. He's being protected by four shinobi. So he's going to be holding it down here in the south. And uh, yeah, I think actually I can move this army of shinobi. Now I've been able to just start a rebellion here in... Mutsu, and I gotta say that that looks like the the biggest rebellion that I've started so far, and that's only with what is that six shinobi and huh, interesting because you know I got this like huge stack over here, and I'm just getting these little uh, I don't know that may be the same size actually I'm not sure maybe maybe I'm just tripping, but in any case, at least I'm getting something going here against. Uh, the Yusugi, and uh, yeah, I should be able to start moving these guys around and causing some, some more trouble. And just like that, Mutsu is now currently un in control of the rebels, which is pretty fantastic. Now, it looks like 
Hmm, I wonder if they were able to destroy some buildings because I think they were producing some uh, warrior monks here and I'm not seeing a Buddhist temple so I'm curious. I'm curious about that. Now I don't know if there's any border forts here in Daywell so I'm going to check out Daywell just this one shinobi just to see if there's anything there. There's nothing here in Echigo and there's nothing here in Echu except for a border watchtower but that's fine. Um, but yeah, I see the thing is that, that there's already soldiers here and I kind of want Yusugi to come back this way and get off of get off of their front lines. You know, I want to deal. I want them to deal with stuff in their back lines with their production centers, their territories that have, a you know, a lot of um, a lot of good high tech buildings. I want them to come back here and fight amongst, you know, their own people, basically. And, you know, essentially maybe possibly give Oda some breathing room to maybe make something happen over here on this side. Maybe they can, you know, fight take Hida potentially, or at least at least um damage the armies in Hida. That would be preferable. And if things go really badly for the Yusugi, then potentially Hojo will see a sense of weakness and actually uh come and attack maybe these rebels for uh, for example. So uh, yeah, it's going to be a little little balancing game of mine where I kind of play each side off of each other and until uh, until I'm ready ready to send my assassins out because for the time being I'm just not ready yet. I can't really afford it. Um, I'm trying. I'm decided. I'm trying to maybe split off my shinobi here in Kyushu and perhaps um, get something done this way. I don't know. I'm just trying different things, seeing how it goes. I'm going to send my shinobi. I'm looking for the Shimazu Daimyo because I would like to make an ally with them, even though I am waging a uh, shinobi sabotage war against him but you know if i can kind of just make some more money off of our alliance uh, while he is still alive that would be fine by me and yeah i think other than that i got some money to spend decent little treasury uh for this year and i think as far as this edi editing goes as long as i'm checking in with y'all uh every year i think you know at least once per year uh during the winter season when i have a new treasury and i can talk about the buildings i want to build that might be good enough, but I don't know. That's just me thinking about it. Uh, that's just me thinking out loud. So let me know what you think about it if you want me to check in a little bit more often. But uh, this feels right for now. So I got some money to spend. And for now, I think it's time for me to spend 500. Yeah, that's a lot, but 500 on a large castle here. And I think for now... That's going to be it. I'm not going to spend any money on improving my economy because I am working on that port here and eventually I can uh, put in a 20% improved farmland here in Chinano just because it's already making a decent income. In addition to that, I would like to eventually put in a um, the second tier of farming upgrade here in Heisen. I can put in that... Um, wait, what's this? Why is this... Oh, okay, that's in Chinano. But yeah, in Heisen, Heisen's good enough income so where they can... They deserve that second upgrade, that 40%. Uh, eventually. Eventually, I'll get around to it. For now, though, I think for this year, I'm just going to be spending my money on Shinobi, Soldiers, and that large castle in Shinano. And that's, that's going to be it. So, yeah, I do want some more archers for my army in Kyushu. And then I can also kind of build out the secondary army here in Shinano a little bit more. And then, of course, I get my Shinobi going from Heisen and Shikugo. That'll be very, very good for me. So yeah, I got that in and got that in. And then other than that, let's just train up another archer here in Totomi. And I think that's all I need to do for now. I think that's looking okay. So I double check my taxes are very low and see how my, uh, see, see, look at the alliances, see if there's anything here to see. Nothing too crazy. So the thing, the way it works with Shimazu being allied with Yusugi is that as long as I'm not at war with Yusugi, that's the thing. I didn't declare war on them by by um, becoming an ally of Oda. So that's the that's the good thing, right? So I can still be allies with Shimazu, even though that they're allies with Yusugi. So that's uh that's good that that's uh that's how that works. So I think I'm ready to end the turn here. Got that port in Saruga. And using this shinobi sabotage tactic does not come without its downsides. I mean, 
This is one of the things that can happen, is that I've essentially created this four-star general amongst the Shimazu clan just by giving it a bunch of uh, a bunch of armies to basically farm itself on. So he's basically basically farmed an a, a outstanding enemy general or Shimazu general. We're not enemies, but I've basically farmed this general for them by providing them with a bunch of easy rebellions for them to put down. Now, hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me in the ass, but for now, uh, they do have a pretty decent general. I know that they do get um, some good heirs that are four stars, but that is not one of them. That's just a straight up general that was uh, farmed off of rebellions because, and I know I've played I've played that Shimazu campaign a couple of times. I don't think they get four star generals naturally. Shoni Sukimoto. I don't recognize your name, sir. But uh, yeah, anyway, in any case, I have found the Shimazu Daimyo. Hopefully that I can get that alliance going with him. And I'm going to start messing around with Mori now as well. Hopefully, let's see, is Takeda still there? Takeda is still hanging out in Iwami, I think. And uh, yeah, hopefully, actually, I go, I'm going to go see. I'm going to make make sure Takeda's still there. And um, yeah, just uh, other than that, things are going well against the Yusugi here. And, uh, yeah, let's just keep moving on. And just like that, Lord Shimazu has accepted the offer of an alliance. He suggests that we keep our army strong, but do not get involved in the petty conflicts that will now plague Japan. Well, um, yeah, sure. Oh, and here he is, Takeda Shingen himself. Unfortunately, he is in an Ashigaru unit. That's, that's so sucky. Now, Takeda does find themselves in a very tough position here. It looks like they were able to swap uh, Iwami for Aki, basically, but unfortunately they have left some troops alone, or, you know, behind back here in Iwami. And, uh, yeah, it looks like they will, you know, take Aki, but, uh, you know, this is a this is a decent little army here by the uh, Mori forces here. So, uh, yeah, look, I don't know. I don't know if Takeda's going to be able to hang out long. Um... And it says that this little group of Ashigairu can hang out for over, a, uh, hold out for over a year. So, yeah, they, I don't know, the great Takeda Shingen might perish here in Aki. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know if because they hold this, that they can send over reinforcements from the main, or, you know, from Hanshu over here. Or if uh, this group is just going to get, you know, hung out to dry here. I'm not sure how that's gonna work out, but uh, yeah, it's too bad because I would, I would really hope that um, you know Takeda could hang out for, you know, hold out for a little longer there against the Mori clan. And it looks like they have swapped places again, which uh, is fine by me. Hopefully, um, Takeda can at least hold out here a little bit longer. I'm trying to get some Shinobi here in Ikea to kind of. Uh, mess up the Mori's plans here to kind of distract them a little bit. So hopefully I can send over some more Let's see I can send over two shinobi this time and uh, just kind of speed this up a little bit Yeah, hopefully I can kind of I Don't know. There's a lot of troops here And that's the issue is that by having lots of soldiers here that helps keep their population level T high So maybe what I should be doing is going to bingo or Izumo to kind of spread some chaos Hmm, not sure. I don't know who has, uh, I don't know where there's going to be border forts, so it's going to be a little risky, but we'll see, uh, we'll see how it goes here. And I did not make a ton of money in this year's, um, harvest. It was a poor harvest, so I'm only making, you know, 1435 so not a, not a ton. Uh, obviously I will be focusing, you know, more on, uh, training up more shinobi and then other than that I wonder if I guess I could just go for the horse dojo now that is what I'm building towards so I can get that going and yeah I think maybe that's it just horse dojo maybe another unit of archers and then more shinobi and that's probably maybe maybe another yari spearman <laughs> and that's probably going to be it for uh, this year's treasury Okay, and now I am starting to raise some rebellions here in Mori territory. I did find a, a weak point here in Bingo without many soldiers and without any uh, border forts either. So, 
Yes, I think I will start causing some trouble here and hopefully, potentially, fingers crossed, I can keep Takeda Shingen alive. <laughs> it's kind of, a, kind of a mission right now. If I can keep him alive, then I can keep a Takeda presence here in Mori territory. So fingers crossed, I can keep, uh, keep this going, make this work. And yes, I am still working on Shimazu, of course, as well. Work in progress, as always. And... Okay, and this is something that's cool that, that uh, happens too, is that when you have enough shinobi in enemy territory, what can happen is, uh, is, is that they can tell you about the enemy's plans, and that is in this case, for example, my shinobi that are in Bingo Province, which is Mori territory, can, are telling me that Lord Mori, Lord Mori's forces are mo mobilizing and preparing for a major attack. There are indications that they are planning to invade Lord Takeda's lands. The attack is planned for next winter. And it's kind of cool. I mean, in this case, it's kind of obvious. Like, obviously, they're going after Lord Takeda. Um, so it doesn't, you know, it's not that crazy of some, like, information. But in a lot of cases, for example, like, <laughs> if you have a bunch of your shinobi in an ally's territory... And they tell you that your ally is planning to attack you. Then all of a sudden, that's like, oh, okay. Well, now I know what to look out for. But in this case, it's kind of obvious. But um, yes, I do want to keep spreading this as long as yeah. So there's nothing here in Bitchu, so I'm gonna keep spreading this, and I'm gonna try to raise rebellions further and further away from where Takeda is to kind of maybe potentially pull troops away. You know, pull them this way maybe. Um, that's the idea anyway. We'll see how that works out. And I must say, these rebellions here in Yusuke territory do seem to be working because every once in a while they can actually take over Mutsu. And in this case, there is the Yusuke Daimyo who is here with very little troops. He has half a unit of warrior monks and then a full unit of uh, cavalry archers and then of course his bodyguard. And that's it. Now I can't see what's in the rebel army, but... That's a, you know, decent chunk of troops compared to what the Yusugi Daimyo has. So, it's one of those situations where I wonder if they can kill him. Now, he does have a son, at least one son, somewhere. Wait, does he? Okay, I was going to say, yeah, he does. Because I did, yeah, I killed his first son. But he does have this two-star son, Yusugi uh, Norimasa, is right there. So if he dies, uh, it won't be the end of the clan, but still, that would be kind of cool to uh, have a daimyo die to a bunch of rebels that I caused in the first place. But uh, yeah, in any case, I think we're just moving on here. And now this is looking, looking like an even bigger force of rebels here in Mutsu. I mean, the daimyo is surviving so far, but, you know, he's losing some warrior monks, he's losing some archers, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes over there. I mean, it's not... Uh, not, definitely not having an easy time of it. And I feel like if I look at their soldiers along these lines here in Echigo and Echu, it seems like they had more before and they have less now. So that's, uh, I'd say, mission accomplished so far. Now, there's still, you know, other threats. For example, Takeda is looking a little bit, a little bit beefy right now. And Hojo, of course, has been going unmolested so I'm wondering if perhaps it's time to start picking on them um, that wouldn't be a bad shout actually so maybe I should send my emissary over to either Kazuza or Shimosa to see uh, if there's any uh, border force in either of these provinces if not then I can start sending my shinobi straight there and uh, same with Sagami as well now I'm kind of on the fence with that because I, I would like to you know actually have Takeda survive for a little bit. Um, obviously, I'm trying to help them out here against Mori. So that's... Uh, I, I don't really want to hinder them too much. But at the same time, they, they might try to mess with me. And I don't want that for sure. So, yeah. We'll uh, we'll see how I feel about that. But maybe... Um, maybe just getting a sneaky little shinobi army here in, in a Hojo lines. Maybe that would be a good idea as well. So... Yeah, what was I going to do with my emissary? I kind of forgot. I thought I had a plan for him, but yeah, maybe I should just bring him to Aki and then I take him from Aki straight over to uh, to Hojo territory to see, you know, to scout ahead for me over there. Uh, otherwise, um, here against the Mori, I mean, things are going okay. I'm kind of moving along and seeing, seeing what kind of trouble I can cause. 
Now I had a good harvest, um, so I'm making some decent money here. Twenty five hundred Koku is not bad, considering um, you know the territories that I have. So, time for me to train up my first unit of Yari Cav. It's about dang time because <laughs> there's a lot, there's a lot of Cav in these armies, and there's a lot of uh, archers in a lot of these armies. So yeah, I can I need to get some Yari Cav going. Maybe get a couple units there and maybe get another uh, archer so I can bring him over to um, Kyushu. And yeah, other than that, maybe... Hmm. Do I want to spend an upgrade on Superior Farmland? Maybe I do. It's cost 350 so it's not nothing, but Heisen has decent, uh, you know, has a decent income there. So maybe that's what I do and... I think I just sit tight other, otherwise and then just keep working on my shinobi and uh, and my soldiers and eventually I think once I have once I have um, at this point I think once I have a little sh shinobi army here in Hojo territory and basically that means like a lot of my enemies at that point will be pretty messed up. Like I'll have shinobi armies and like every every threatening enemy ter territory, I will be messing them up. So at that point, I will feel relatively secure to start training up to um, ninjas, that is. And uh, yeah, I think I think that will work. Um, I do want more soldiers here in Shinano, so I can keep working on that. Just having the one stack isn't enough. I would like to get two full stacks if I could, but yeah, I think right now I can, you know, get some more archers going in this army in Heisen, and uh, eventually I, I will be able to take over Kyushu with that army, and uh, yeah, I get some Yari Cav going in Shinano. So yeah, that's uh, you know things are moving along, but uh, you know I just have to take it one year at a time because just. You know, my treasuries are not large. That's the thing. I'm not, because I'm not taking territory and because I'm training more soldiers, the upkeep for my armies is adding up. So it's going to be one of those things that's, uh, so far things are going well enough. Actually, I just noticed this. This is making me a little bit nervous. The fact that Takeda does have a, um, an emissary hanging out in Saruga tells me that he might be looking to attack me. And I would like it if he did not attack me. Hmm. Yeah, that does make me a little nervous for sure. Maybe I'd send my emissary, instead of sending them to Hojo Terry, maybe I send them over to Takeda Territory first to see if I can maybe possibly get an alliance with him. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean anything with Takeda. They do just like to attack their... They, they will break an alliance, uh... They are not that clan that you can trust for sure. But yeah, I would really like um, Hojo to go to war with Takeda because, you know, that would just, that would take some pressure off of me on this side. Um, over here, yeah, I want Takeda to do okay. But here, I kind of, I kind of would, wouldn't mind if Hojo kind of pressured them a little bit and, uh, and uh, you know, made it so that they couldn't just attack me here in Saruga, but... Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they did that, and if they do do that, then I'm in a tough spot because, like, I, I just built up to having um, Yarikev here in Shinano, and if I have to send forces down to relieve a siege in Saruga, then that leaves me wide open up here, so that's tricky. Then they could just destroy my buildings up here without any retribution so hmm yeah that that tell yeah actually that lets me know that I should prioritize actually really prioritize getting this army built up here in Shinano so yeah I got Yari Cav going instead of sending these archers to Kyushu I'll just send them right up here to Shinano and uh yeah that way if I send an army down to Saruga to relieve it, then I can still have some forces up here to, you know, kind of dissuade enemies from attacking me there. So yeah, that's that's gonna be the plan for now. Let's see, make sure my attacks are down to very low. And uh, yeah, just make sure that um, I'm still training Shinobi. All right, now I got a son here. And he will be of age in 16 years. And let's see who it is, I'm guessing. I have a guess. 
I have a guess. And looks like Lord Yosugi has set an emissary. Uh, will I grant an audience? Uh, just because... I, I don't know if he's still at war with or Lord Oda. I didn't really keep track of that. So, if there's a chance I can get an alliance with Lord, Lord Yosugi, I will say yes. Um, but if it just happens that they're still at war, then I will just choose to stay with Lord uh, Oda after this. My lord, prudent men do not turn away from the way of strategy in their ch All right, yes, I agree. So, yes, let's Buddha's accept compassion this. compassion go with you. And then if there is any... Um, complaints from Lord Oda, then that will happen. That'll happen right at the end of this turn, I believe. So let me just double check this. And yeah, they're still at war, so it's just gonna, you know, happen so that I'm gonna have to choose at the end of this turn. Um, Alright, so I think, so for now, I'm not really getting it, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like I'm helping, but at the same time, I'm not, Takeda's not really taking any territory up here, but that's fine. That's fine for now. I'm going to send my emissary uh, down to Sagami to potentially make an alliance with Lord Takeda down there. Um, he's still... He's just at war with... Uh, oh, he's actually allied with uh, Lord Yusugi. So good for him. Good. And uh, yeah, but hopefully he will ally with me as well. That would be nice. Oh no, not again. An enemy ninja is stalking one of my emissaries and Sagami again. Let's see, uh, you know, fingers crossed. Maybe he'll survive it. No, he didn't survive it. Alright, so how are we doing? I saw some interesting things uh, here. So yeah, I'm, I'm trying out Higo now because I was realizing that some of my shinobi were being caught by enemy security forces here in Hyuga. I'm guessing that they're guarding this freaking five-star general, so that makes sense. And that is, um, you know, they're learning, right? They're learning that they're they're having uh, shinobi issues, and they're dealing with shinobi the way that you're supposed to. So, yeah, I had a couple of my shinobi get caught, so I thought maybe I could move them over to Higo and try to get some work done here because I know that they don't have any border forts there, so that's good. And yeah, so this is what I thought. I have to choose my allies between Lord Yosugi or Lord Oda. So do you wish to remain allied to Lord Yosugi? The answer is uh, no. And okay, so now I'm losing Shinobi to security forces here in Satsuma as well, which is a bummer. But again, it makes sense because there is, uh, you know, a four-star general here, so... They are protecting their four-star generals. That all makes sense. But, uh, yeah, it's a little, a little uh, unfortunate that I haven't been able to, like, really have these, you know, rebels really do a lot of damage here. But, honestly, I think that's okay. Um, yes, I have created some pretty, you know, monstrous uh, generals over here. But I think when the time comes, I will be able to uh, take out Kyushu, um... You know, when the time comes. It's still going to be some time. And yeah, this is the thing that I saw that, you know, gives me gives me glee right now. Is the fact that Takeda looks like they have been able to take out or at least, you know, capture Aki. Um, the army here in Aki and this garrison is only going to hold out for two turns. So that's good. So I'm going to get out of Takeda's way. I'm going to move some guys. This is Mori territory here in Seoul. So I'm going to move some shinobi here. Hopefully they don't have a border fort. I wasn't really... I don't really know. And I'm going to move some of my shinobi over here as well. To just kind of... Uh, I'm just going to get out of uh, Takeda's way. You know, let him, let him take Aiki and... And uh, yeah, I'll start, uh, start spreading out this way to see if I can cause some more trouble for Mori out here. And uh, yeah, Godspeed Takeda Shingen. Hopefully you do well. And I do have a little bit of money to spend for this year, so I will spend it on just one more shinobi. Can't afford two, so that's going to be it. And yeah, that's it. Uh, so far, no attacks here in Saruga, so that's good. Again, fingers crossed. It sucks that my emissary died. Um, hmm. Yeah, I, I guess I... Hmm. 
I could train. Well, not now. I can't train one right now. I'm going to be training that Shinobi instead. Uh, I guess I could try to train one next year. And yeah, do I have a? So I'd have to train him here. I still don't have. I only have a Tranquil Guard in here to Tomi, which is unfortunate. Yeah, that sucks. It sucks that I yeah I'm not able to get into Sagami and talk to uh, Lord Takeda. But maybe I just say screw that. Maybe I just say let's check out Hojo and. Maybe cause some troubles in uh troubles in Hojo territory because, yeah, I'm, I've been causing trouble in uh, Yusugi territory. But maybe I gotta share that love a little bit, and make sure that uh, Hojo doesn't get the upper hand here in the north. That uh, that wouldn't be good. So, yeah, I think I'm just, uh, I think I'm good to go. Training a Shinobi here, right? Yes, I am. So let's uh let's get on with this. Ooh, man, not making a lot of money. That sucks. Dang, dang, dang. Only making 1140 Koku. Okay, well. Let's see what we can do with it. And I have caught and killed an enemy ninja here in Shinano. Going after my daimyo, eh? Well, those sons of bitches. And yeah, poor harvest. At least that's what I'm making with a poor harvest. It would be more worrisome if that's what I was making with an average harvest, then, uh, then that would be kind of scary. The fact that that's just due to, you know, bad luck means, okay, that's fine. I can, I can live with bad luck. And yeah, the Portuguese are here, so they can start talking to the, you know, the Portuguese. And uh, I wonder, I'm going to curious to see if uh, this Shimazu clan is going to try to go Christian. And yeah, with that poor treasury, I think that the plan is just train Shinobi and train a few more soldiers for Shinano. And yeah, that's going to be it. I don't think I can really, really uh, go out and spend money on buildings for this turn. Because I, uh, yeah, I want to see if I can get a little Shinobi army here in, Ho in uh, Hojo territory. And uh, yeah, other than that, I just want to keep things going here in Shinano. And I will be training a an em emissary to potentially send him... You know, out here to scout ahead for my shinobi forces. And apparently there's a ninja hanging out right into Tomi again, going after my emissaries. Oh man, that's annoying. Okay, so I have to send some shinobi to Tomi, and I guess I talked about this before, and I didn't really want to do it, but I guess I should build a border fort in Tomi just so I can make sure that any future emissaries I train are safe there. Because, yeah, having my emissaries die right away, it's just wasted money. And, uh, yeah, that sucks, so. And it, it does suck, too, because I don't really have that extra money to spend, but. And we've got ourselves a bit of a situation up here. It looks like Takeda has put themselves up, which is worrisome. Because I was hoping that they would just kind of you know, hang out in Aki and finish that siege so that they could potentially get reinforcements from, uh, you know, their central holdings here. But no, they've split themselves up and I don't know if they're going to win either of these battles. I'm very curious about this and I'm very worried about this. So yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know. This might be the end of, uh, Takeda Shingen, but fingers crossed that he can uh, pull something out here. Okay, so this is actually kind of cool, and some things did work out for me, um, or at least, you know, for Lord Takeda. So, the samurai and peasants loyal to Lord Takeda have revolted in this province, and this is happening in Iwami. And what this means is that even though Iwami is uh, traditionally, from the beginning of the campaign, it's Mori territory, because Takeda has held on to it for long enough, the fact that I have Shinobi here, I've started a basically this little Takeda rebellion here in Iwami, and just summed up some troops uh, out of nowhere, basically creating these reinforcements for the Takeda in this territory. And that's really good. So obviously this force won't be able to beat this fo Mori force, but at least they potentially can retreat to Aki to, you know, kind of regroup there and uh, maybe maybe make a home in Aki. That would be preferable. So yeah, fingers, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed that I'm helping. I'm trying to help here.
Okay, and I have caught that ninja into Tomy, so my emissary has survived. And let's see, I did also catch a ninja here in Chikugo as well, probably going after my heir, so... Screw you, ninjas. And then, yeah, my, sh my shinobi keep on getting caught here in Shimazu lands, which is getting a it's a little annoying. It's uh, a little unfortunate. Ooh, what happened? What just happened? Did... Huh? Huh. Okay, I'm a little... Did I not have... Shinobi here in Aki? I'm kind of confused. Does Takeda still have a key? Okay, so Takeda has a key, so that's good. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I was just a little, little confused about what happened there, but uh, in any case, I think I will... I'm just gonna kind of, you know, start spreading my shinobi around, kind of spreading the love a little bit, and trying to, trying to annoy the uh, Mori forces wherever I can. And do I want to hang out here? I don't know. I don't know if I'm really getting anything done here. Maybe what I do is just kind of move my forces past and kind of deeper into Moria territory. Maybe that's the, maybe that's the key. It's just to kind of spread out more. I do like keeping tabs on what's happening here. I like to know what's happening, but uh, I think at the cost of not knowing what's happening, I should just kind of set, spread my shinobi out this way to kind of cause more havoc. Now I have started to work on the Hojo here in Kazuza. It's cleared. There's no. Uh, there's no border forts here, so I went all in on with uh, six shinobi, and I'm already causing some issues for the Hojo there, so hopefully that goes well. And yeah, moving along in Mori territory, causing some issues in Bingo as well. And uh, yeah, I decided to move on to different territories in Shimazu territory just because my guys are getting picked off left and right uh, by their shinobi, presumably, uh, that was guarding their top generals. Uh, so I decided to move my guys along and start causing more trouble in other territories for the Shimazu, just to kind of see what I could do there. And yes, yeah, so uh, Yusugi keeps trying to ally with me, and I keep on saying yes just because I, I don't know if he's always allied with uh, Hojo, or I mean Oda. Let's see, so I do not, do I wish to remain allied with, I have to always read this to make sure I'm saying yes or no to the right question here. So, do you wish to remain allied to Lord Yuasugi? No. And, let's see. Lord Hojo's forces are mobilizing and preparing for a major attack. There are indications that they are planning to invade Lord Yuasugi's lands. The attack is planned for this spring. Cool. I actually hope that they go through and do that. And, uh, yeah. Mori versus Takeda. Yeah. And my forces have caught and killed an enemy ninja here in Shinano, going after my daimyo, and another one. <laughs> and another poor harvest, this time making 1500, so at least I'm making 1500 with a poor harvest. And now the Portuguese want to talk to me, and I'm going to say no, because I do not want to convert to Christianity, because right now, since everyone else is still Buddhist, um, I need to be able to talk to them. I need to be able to uh, be allied with them. That's like my entire strategy, right? As soon as I go Christian and they don't want to ally with me because we have different religions, then the strategy falls apart. So I'm not going to go Christian. I'm not going to have guns. I'm not going to have the churches. I'm not going to have the Portuguese trading posts and all of that money that comes with it. Uh, so, yeah, I don't, I don't like saying no to them, but it just makes it a lot harder to make money, you know? So let's see, there's no border forts here in Chimosa. So how about I move my little secret, little uh, Mission Impossible secret special spec ops force here in Chimosa and move them over. And I'll have my emissary check out Hitachi to see if there's any border forts there in Hitachi and I'll just keep moving along. And uh, yeah, keep causing some trouble in Yusugi territory as well. Just because I feel like it's working. I feel like it's kind of keeping them off my backs a little bit. And, uh, <laughs> gaining ranks for the daimyo, of course. But, uh, you know, that's okay. And, yeah, I kind of, uh, would like to be able to talk to Takeda. If Takeda, it, actually, if Hojo would just want to attack Yusugi, that would be very, very welcome indeed. I would very, very, very much welcome that. In fact, I might just burn another turn. Just to, because it said they were going to attack this spring, so that's literally the next turn. Um, if they want to do that, I would uh, gladly welcome that, so... I do want to end. I do want to end this turn just to kind of see, see what's going to go on there. And I decided I want to keep 
a couple shinobi in this area area just to kind of I want to see what's going on other than that though I will keep moving these shinobi along just to kind of you know keep causing havoc Mimasaka is the capital of the Mori uh, territory so if I can kind of cause a rebellion there then potentially I can have some really good buildings that are destroyed uh, other than that though it's getting a little it's it's getting dicey for sure because I'm looking at I was looking at uh, or, uh, Lord Oda's forces and even Oda has uh, warrior monks right now so yeah it's kind of a kind of a dicey thing everyone has warrior monks except for me and the, the uh, Takeda and I don't think Shimazu has them either. But do they have, do they even have no Dachi? I don't think they have no Dachi Swordsman, which is a shame because that's their thing. They're supposed to have no Dachi Swordsman. But I'm going to keep sending, I'm going to send some Shinobi this way. Actually, I don't even know. I don't have any vision on this territory, so hopefully they don't have a, actually, hmm. What should I do here? I'm going to actually, what I'll do is I'll play this conservatively and I'll send one shinobi at a time to Buzin just to see if there's any border forts there. And I will send one shinobi to Eo to see if there's any border forts there as well. And I will bring up the rest of these. Yeah, I'll bring up the rest of these shinobi just to get ready to move because I want to kind of cause some trouble in other Shimazu territories. And yeah, other than that, I have some more shinobi that I'm producing, but I think I'm getting pretty close to... Uh, where I want, whereas um, I feel pretty comfortable with kind of switching over to more of a um, ninja strategy. So, yeah, I did not make a ton of money for this turn, but I think at this point what I need to focus on is filling out... Yeah, actually, I think I can actually stop full full stop on Shinobi for now and fill out the rest of this army here and get a better army here in Heisen because this is mostly uh, Ashigaru at this point. And uh, at that point, once I have, you know, a second army here and then a decent army here in Heisen, then I can go to war against Shimazu. And I think I'd feel pretty good about that. Um, there is, I mean, maybe I should just tech right up to ninjas, like, right now, instead of starting, you know, going to war with the Shimazu clan, but I, I think I just, I feel like I need these territories, because I'm starting to run out of money, that's the thing, and I need, yeah, I just need a little bit more territory to make some more money, you know, so, I think that's the play, yeah, yeah, so, for this year it's just gonna be just soldiers so just soldiers what do I have one two three four five so just two more Yari Samurai and they'll be good that's fine and yeah here I can't train anything except for ninjas and yeah that's fine as well although hmm wonder if I should go after yeah, I don't know. I think I need to tech up to really good ninjas before I go after these daimyos and stuff. Because, you know, they, at this point of the game, if there's a daimyo or an heir, they are being protected by shinobis. They're being protected by border forts. And I need a lot of, you know, good honor ninjas to get past those security defenses. And even then, a lot of them will get caught. It's just that, you know, the honor will help them, you know, get, get a few of them through. That is. So... Yeah, I'm just going to end this turn and see, um, yeah, I just want to see if Hojo actually kind of goes through with it and uh, goes to war with, with Yusugi. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'm not seeing any attacks on Yusugi. In fact, that might be my fault because I'm I'm messing with them now. And the, uh, actually, I was able to get the rebels to take over Kazusa, so that's good. So yeah, I'm causing some trouble here for the Hojo, and uh, that's all part of the plan. So, yep, got revolts in Shimazu territory. And, okay, so there is a border fort in Mimasaka, because I got shinobi that are being caught by security forces here in Mimasaka. And, yeah, then my security forces in Heizen. So, yeah, there's a ninja going after my heir, 
But luckily, my shinobi have been able to stop him. And, uh, yeah, Buzin, there must be a border fort. Or shinobi here in Buzin. So it's a good thing I only sent one at a time. And, yeah, that's, uh, looks like, so yeah, it looks like, um, Hojo did not attack Lord Yusugi. Um, Hojo does have a emissary here in Kai, so they might be planning on attacking in Takeda territory. That would be nice. But, uh, yeah, things, it's, it's a slow burn for sure. I mean, but I think I'm making some good progress here. Uh, yeah, got it. So, Eo is open. There's no border force. It's a border watchtower, so I could potentially kind of mess up, um, kind of get some rebellions going here in Eo, hopefully, maybe. And, yeah, what do we got here in Mimasaka? So, no border force. So, they must have some shinobi here. Although, did I? Huh. Looks like it did cause a rebellion anyway. So, that's good. So yeah, even though I sacrificed a shinobi, his uh, his death was worth it. I I made a I made a rebellion here in Mimasaka, and if that actually kind of destroys some of these buildings, that'd be very good for me, and uh, potentially good for the Takeda clan. Because I'm trying to I'm trying to help them out down here. I'm trying to make them survive a little bit. They don't they don't have much. I mean, come on, man, S send some. So like they have control of Aki. You know, and at this point, it's like, okay, send send some soldiers over. Like, some of these guys. You got, you got to. You got to send some soldiers. I don't know what you have in Sagami, but either send some soldiers over to help out, you know, your eldest son. Or, or just abandon this and just, you know, save, save Lord Takeda. Or not Lord Takeda, but uh, Takeda Shingen. He's your eldest son, and he's going to die here for nothing up in, you know, Mori territory, basically. So... Bring him home. Bring him home. Or, or or send reinforcements. Either or, but don't waste his life. But in any case, I'm going to have to continue this uh, campaign at a later time. As always, I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think about the new um, editing style you know, going forward. And I'm going to keep tweaking this and seeing how I feel about it. In the meantime, I've been Kana Step, and this has been Shogun Total War. Thank you very much, and goodbye.